hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm actually attending a fashion show today and so i wanted to do my makeup and do a get ready with me also a vlog i don't know if it's gonna be a get ready with me or it's gonna be a vlog but today's agenda is i'm going to attend a fashion show and i'll actually be modeling in some of the clothes so i'm super excited because i've not been out of the house in a hot minute and this is a way that i can also actually just get to socialize with people because my social skills be in the drenches but nonetheless let's do my makeup real quick there's already an inspo for what they're looking for and my hair is tied up in a bun i'm sure you can see it i did it last night because i just didn't think i'd have the time in the morning but again i'm thinking i've just done it in the morning but either way it still looks fine i also have a meeting at 2 p.m so i have to rush because time is over if you're new here don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel let's get it and let's for today i'm going to try the l'oreal paris um infallible mattifying base I, I hope i read that right because i'm actually kind of in a rush to start reading things properly in the entirety so i hope you guys are doing good um this week has already begun for me and also there's a lot of people who don't know i'm actually not in school right now i am doing internship and i'm about to graduate i'm soon graduating i have a few months in uni and uh, it's almost time to graduate so honestly there's just so many things to do i've never used this primer before even though it's in my makeup all the time but it's kind of different okay i'm actually almost graduating and i'm super excited about the same time guys it's like nerve wracking do you know what i mean by that it's like there's just so many expectations from people especially if you've done your university abroad it's like there's so many people expecting so much from you and i kind of feel the pressure going back home honestly like it's getting real now <laughs> no more living princess life you don't have to get a job start your life it's crazy i don't even know if i'm supposed to do it uh leave it for a while but i'm just gonna go in today i want to do like a very very light makeup because guys i never achieve light makeup if you see my makeup is always almost heavy and i feel so bad because it's like i'm trying to achieve this uh no makeup makeup look but i just can't for the life of me i just can't so today i'm gonna try because i really want to still look like me irrespective of me having makeup but i always like fail i always like fail i always like fail all the time it's like oh you know but i'm gonna try today like just for today i'm gonna try to just try it okay now i'm seeing that this shade is actually not my match but i never find my match anyway it actually looks so much better off camera like the way i'm looking at it now it actually looks better like so much better the one is looking like on camera and yeah it's actually my shade Trying to do this as quickly as possible because I have a meeting that I don't want to be late for and it's in the next 45 minutes. So I'm really going for a minimal look. I don't know if I want to do this part here, but I know I want to do this part here. Maybe a bit of my nose, like that. So maybe here too. So you know that thing where, um, for those that do makeup, right? I used to have a beard here and I had to shave it off. And it's never grown back from there and I kind of miss it. Do you think that it's ever it's gonna if it ever comes back it's gonna be like more than it was? Like I'm kind of scared of that honestly. If you ask me, I'm kinda of scared of that. But nonetheless, I also hope that you guys enjoy my videos because I love making these videos for you guys, chatting with you guys, getting to you know, show you guys a bit of my road. Actually also let me update you guys on something um i've started this um healing journey right where um you you give yourself like a reality check one thing that i've realized with reality checks guys is that they are so painful if you're not ready for them like if you're not ready for a reality check it's gonna be so painful when you start to address things about yourself that you know girl you need to change mm -mm. We're not gonna keep doing this every single way. We're not gonna keep on going back and forth with the same people. And also, I, you know, like what if you've been hurt before by people, right? You come to also understand that sometimes what you're looking for is not really closure. It's just moving on. Like you just need to move on from situations that never favored you before. I realized this week that during my reality checks, okay, that honestly you can never 
go back to the same people that hurt you and expect them to understand that they hurt you few people even understand the fact that they did certain things to people and that's okay you know you don't for so long i've been waiting for an apology like i'm just waiting for you to apologize but it's okay to move on without that apology like you don't need it you know i just decided to turn the camera and it looks actually pretty much better so like i was saying right during one of my reality checks this week i realized that i can't go back to some people that hurt me and demand them for an apology because not even some of them are not even aware that they actually hurt me you know sis just move on you're holding on to nothing <laughs> so that's what pretty much this week has been about just realizing that certain people will just never change and my change shouldn't be dependent on whether i receive an apology or not i may not even need it for the fact that i think that i need it means that i have not dealt with um, a lot of underlying um, issues with myself okay so whoever is here if you're looking for an apology for, to move on you don't need that apology just move on at the end of the day it's only you who's being hurt by those memories you know and i was talking to my friend yesterday and she told me like hey um poison kept in a container right it is more poisonous right than the one that's out of the container meaning the way i looked at it and how i interpreted it is like you keeping these things right is only hurting you because you're the only one who get then easily gets triggered by things that people are doing and also this ends up affecting your relationships you know your partner is not even understanding like why are you behaving like this and it's because you have just so many things that you know you're just putting yourself into you know i just said i'm letting go and i don't care now so now um I'm doing things new and I know that this is the better this is gonna be a best version of me and even as I go back home I know not to make the same mistakes and also I've learned so much you know and I do see some of you on my TikTok do say that it's wisdom I think it's experience like when you've gone to hell in life you're gonna be experiencing that and you're gonna tell people like hey i did it like this so i don't want you to come off like that and i like how my makeup is coming out so far oh my god oh my god i was looking at myself right now and i'm like this is so so pretty like i know i do makeup but it's never come out this good and i know some of you can relate it's like it's just so different today is so different and maybe it's because my mood is different for today like i'm in a happy mood today like i'm gonna kill this fashion show right also i'm figuring myself out like do i even want to be a model like is this what i like i don't think so if you ask me the inspo is actually quite simple and i like that it's simple because i don't have to like go all that in my eyebrows i just have to like take it easy and I like that we like anything easy right one thing I know about myself is that I'm a good teacher like I can teach and you can understand like I am just good at sharing stuff right so now um, the other day I was thinking about relationship I'm like how did everything just like do a whole 360 you know I mean if my parents are watching I love you guys so much <laughs> but I don't think you're supposed to watch this part of the video Okay guys, can I just draw my eyebrows and then I'll be back? I promise I'll be back because I don't want to fail Because I don't know if I'll manage to like talk to you guys and also do this well I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like as you progress, right? As you get older, right? Your relationship with your mom like kind of like gets better. I don't know if it's just me But guys, I I really love the relationship that I have with my mom I can literally ask her and talk to her about anything i i talk to my mom about anything there's just that thing of where you ask your mom questions and she just answers you you know one thing i really love about my mom is that she's a very honest person when she's talking about certain topics she's very very honest and i've been talking to my mom about marriage <laughs> i know right like girl you're moving too fast but guys let me tell you if i if i'm to be honest i've always wanted to be a mom and a wife that's me i feel like that's one thing that's gonna make me like fulfilled in this life and i know a lot of you want to get married but there's just this uh dead man who's rich you know this notion like rich 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 guy rich guy money 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 and so when you're dating people who are you know they love you they care for you but they just don't have money it's like you're looking at them like side i like you know this might not work and that's an issue i've had with this 
money money movement but i'll talk about it in another video if you guys are interested but yeah i've been talking to my mom about marriage and only she's just like get so young get so young and to me it's like no this is what i want this is what i want you know but i'm gonna wait it out i'm gonna wait it out and i'll see if the urge does not end Ooh, I kind of think like it looks so pretty already. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna see if the edge um, continues or not, because let me tell you so like as somebody who's been waiting for marriage, right? When you know when you, when I say waiting for marriage, I think you kind of know what I mean, right? I feel like the wait has waited, you know, and I am with somebody that I do genuinely love, and he loves me, and but though we do love each other i would say um there's so much work that needs to be done between the two of us right but okay this comes out so much it's a busing come on but you guys know like i've been this person for like almost three years now if i'm to be counting right and it's like okay should we marry because We've been together for this long or oh, you're ready and I'm ready but to be honest I want to get married but I also don't think I'm ready like ready for that you know because there's a lot of underlying things about me that I just want to change before I make that commitment like there's a lot of things about me honestly that I'm like Nadeja this has to change like this has to you know this has to go this doesn't have to be your whole entire life and marriage you know it's, it's beautiful I don't know which way which way should I use guys I the the thing is like a glitter inside and I'm trying to not mess it up because once I mess it up I'm screwed I would have used the other one but the colors like dark chic shiny not like light colors but I need maybe this one or between these three but I don't know which one if it's not I'm gonna go with this one it's giving a good color but if it ain't go I'll mix it with this one but then there's this one you know i'm gonna go for this one and this one that's all i'm not gonna even stress it so i'm like there's some things about me that i really want to change before <gasps> you know like okay let me just focus wait this looks so pretty like guys I, this is my favorite makeup i like it i think less is good for me more is bad for me Ooh, I look so pretty. I wanna cry now because I wanna cry. Now, the part I feel I'm gonna mess it up is on the eyeliner because for the life of me, I can't never get eyeliner right. But let's go back. I'm gonna get back to the marriage topic soon, but let me just try. Just gonna do a bit here. okay have you seen that that's all that's all i don't want to run this and i'm just gonna like go on top like that's all like that's all we're done god please please i'm asking oh my god let me try to i can't even see well So I asked my mom a lot of things like, what mistakes do you think you made? And she told me her mistakes. And I just ask. I don't also just uh, hold it on to my mom. I ask all the aunties that I know that are married and ask for advice because they're alive. And I think there are things that if I ask, I won't be able to make those mistakes. And for the most part, guys, I really think that I am ready to get married. But I'm not ready. Like, I'm ready, but I'm not ready um there's so many things that like i said about me that i really really want to work on and change okay so that's a factor like before i get a, before i become a mom whatever traumas that i have i'd like to sort them out now whatever things that i have like unresolved issues with myself i like to sort that thing now so that i don't get to pass them on to my child and i don't want my child to battle things that i would have battled for them you know like let them have their own struggles if i don't not even any struggle but you know this is 
life so obviously everyone has struggles but not things that i failed to address in my life so on that part like yes there's growth that i need to take um on that side maybe that's what my mom means like hey you've got a lot of things to learn about yourself travel and all that okay fine i'm gonna do that but if you ask me to get married today i i i, I will i will because the other part of me is tired of waiting you know and i kind of feel like jesus is coming like so soon like oh my god you know like people said oh yeah 100 years ago they were saying the same thing and he didn't come like ah those are those words when people tell me that i'm like you're just fulfilling prophecy at this point like keep on saying those things you know maybe some people have lost hope but i just hope that i'm one of the people that make it to heaven i pray that i am because if i if i don't go i won't be able to survive what's coming next for the people that won't make it in the marriage part it's like i feel i'm ready my mom is like no you're not i'm like i am i'm gonna listen to her of course she's my mom right no, no mom is gonna want anything bad for that child right my alarm just went off but anyway i'm gonna try to add this mattifying lip like that right so now i don't know if this is gonna be just a get ready with me or i'm gonna actually take you guys on a vlog i'm still thinking <laughs> but nonetheless i don't have a setting spray so i'm gonna wait for just nature yeah i really enjoyed having this small random rant chit chat with you guys as i do my makeup i and also i know that the video started off with the front camera but then i realized the back camera is better than the front camera we're getting ready for this fashion show and wow i don't i'm still figuring out if this is what i want or i want to do politics or i want to go into law or if i want to stay in my field right now i'm just trying to just see where i belong so trying this out it's not gonna be my first fashion show but it's gonna be my second and i'd like to bring you guys along uh, just to inspire one girl or one boy to say just try it all out and whatever works for it works for you and uh, i just hope that today i get to meet somebody who's gonna push me to a new level i'm gonna meet somebody on my path that's gonna take me to the next level in my career and yeah also i told you guys i'm almost graduating so it's just a lot do i want to stay here do i want to go back home do i want to go to the uk do i want to go to the us do i want to go to canada i'm still figuring that out but again i said that i want to get married mm is so much but i'm gonna figure it out okay so this is the makeup that i've done i did promise that if we do get to continue that is gonna be a vlog so i just tried to put my my hair properly well behind i need to get into the meeting which is about to start soon i texted him he said 15 minutes okay so that was the shortest meeting i've ever had and i couldn't even take a video because all i had to do was just fill in the information and then send it to him but guys i'm trying to improve on being early for events because i'm so bad at it but today i'm gonna be early so yeah so now let's go to the fashion show this one is two slippers with the this that's exactly how we're looking i hope you guys like it because That's how we look. That's how we look. So I'm currently in the lobby waiting for the grab to come and I decided to just sit because normally I'll be outside but today I decided to sit because it's hot and I'm scared that the makeup might melt so that's the reason why i just decided to behave myself i don't know if i should just keep it matte or i should put something the gloss on top i'm really not sure but <laughs>
it's so pretty it's actually eating it's like oh my god and i also met with the girls some of them i was actually with their dads at their beauty pageant and I also got to talk to these people that are working here finding out where they're from you know what it's crazy a lot of these people don't know that um a lot of people a lot of these people don't know that africa is a continent they think it's a country so it's very very funny I'm currently in H and M home because we're trying to like um, get things for a new house, so I want to see what they have here and just try to check. I never knew that um, H and M even had like H and M home. It's crazy. <laughs> some dinner after but my head is burning I'm not sure if it's because the gel over held it like because my head is spinning so I'm take a shower and then sleep so thank you so much for watching this video I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one ciao